from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Good afternoon, Horn Frog Faithful. From Morganstown, West Virginia, and Mountaineer Field to be exact, Herbert Rowe here for all your Horn Frog football action. Week 10 has the exciting matchup between the West Virginia Mountaineers and your TCU Horn Frogs. The Horn Frogs come into today's game ranked, or they are 7 1. I believe they are ranked number 9 in the country. Um, and the Mountaineers come into today's game at 6 and 2, ranked number 15 in the country. We're about to get underway here from Morganstown very soon as the Mountaineers are about to run out on the field and we're going to have the coin toss and all the pregame festivities are wrapping up. So here come the Mountaineers from their tunnel. This should be a good one here from Morganstown, West Virginia. As the Horn Frogs look to improve to 8-1 and one, as Kansas State, the team they are battling uh, for the top spot in the conference with Kansas State has won. They won this morning. So if the Horn Frogs can get this victory over the Mountaineers on the road, it will be an exciting matchup next week for the Horn Frogs. First and 10, Kemp. Looking, throws it left side, par Porter inside the 25 to the 26, another Horned Frog first down. The Horned Frogs are number 9 in the country and the Mountaineers are number 15. But anyway, going back to that Kansas State game, Kansas State did win, so if the Horned Frogs want to keep pace, nice play by Anderson down to about the 35-yard line. Huge play there for the Horned Frogs and another first down on this drive for TCU. As you see the replay, look at Anderson go up and make this play as... Uh, Going back to Kansas State, they have won, so if Horn Frogs can get the victory, it would set up an exciting matchup next week to decide who would take over first place in the conference standings as Kansas State travels to Amon G. Carr next week. First and 10, Kemp running the option. He's got to keep it himself. He's got to pick up almost near the first down. It'll be tackled after a seven-yard gain. Nice run there by Kemp. Now second and three, Kemp back under center here. He'll hand off to Johnson running right side, breaks a couple of tackles, still on his feet. Inside the t almost to the 15 yard line, huge run by Johnson there, picking up the first down, and he sold three Mountaineer defenders. I don't want to be tackled just yet. I want to keep running for a little while. So nice run by Johnson there. First and 10, Kemp in the shotgun. Johnson to his right. Kemp pump fakes, takes the snap. Kemp looks to throw over the middle. Gray into the end zone. The Horn Frog strike first. It's seven to nothing, and Brian Kemp has the rec school record for passing touchdowns in a season. Second and seven now, with a minute 52 to go here in the first quarter. Kemp handoff Johnson running right side, gonna get past the blockers out to about the outside and just about the 30 yard line where he will be pushed out of bounds. Check the replay. He goes runs to the right side, gets past the uh, defensive lineman and gets pushed out of bounds at about the 30. So another Horn Frogs first down here on their second drive of the game. Second and five now. Kemp in the shotgun. He's got Henderson, the backup running back to his right. Kemp looking for him on the halfback screen. Henderson's got some blockers inside the 10. Henderson to the end zone, and the speedster has another Horn Frog touchdown. They now lead 13 to nothing with the extra point pending as Kemp that was designed halfback screen right to Henderson, and Henderson. He got the blocks he needed and took it into the end zone for six points. And now the Horn Frogs will lead 14-0 if they can just make the extra point. Nicely done between Kemp and Henderson there. And the Horn Frog bench is excited about that play. Now third and three here in the second quarter. TCU still up 14-0. Kemp from the pistol. Throws it over the middle. That's great. Another first down to about the 35-yard line as Kemp. There's his stats for the season as another first down now. Second and ten. Nearing mid at midfield. Kemp looking. Throws it deep. Nice catch by Malone inside the 10. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. Another th touchdown pass for Kemp there. His third, or his, yes, his third of the game. As I believe we have some bandwagon fans now. As some West Virginia fans tried to change their jerseys. Uh, while we weren't watching, but it didn't work. As you see, nice play by Kemp there. Finds Malone his tight end, and Malone just burns the West Virginia secondary like they were a piece of toast into the end zone. And the Horn Frogs lead 21-0. Now 244 left here in the first half. Still 21-0 TCU. Kemp 
looking to throw. Throws it deep. Nice play. Anderson makes the catch, and he's going to be drugged down at about midfield. What a play there by Anderson. He just went up to get that one, and he skied and made the catch. It reminds me of the Madden 12 days with the rocket catching. You look at this replay. He just goes up and makes the catch, and the West Virginia Mountaineer defense is lucky just to tackle him there. First and 10, Kemp in the shotgun. He's got Henderson to his right. Kemp looking to throw. Throws it over the right side. That's O'Brien, and O'Brien's inside the 30. Another first down for the Horn Frogs as they keep driving the football down the field. Take a look at the replay. Kemp over the middle, uh, just to the right of, of the uh, hash, uh, the, just to the right of the hashes, and O'Brien makes the play. Another Horn Frog first down on this drive. The Horn Frog mascot is loving it. It's clapping his hands together. So here we go, second and ten. Kemp in the shotgun. He's got two running backs on either side. Kemp running the option. Hey, we've seen this before all season long. Nicely done there for five for Kemp. It'll be third and five for the Horn Frogs. So here we go, third and five. Kemp in the shotgun. He's got Henderson to his right. Kemp takes the snap. He's looking to throw. Kemp over the middle. That's great. That's a touchdown. And the Horn Frogs strike again. Oh, man, they're not done yet. It's 27 nothing, and we're still here in the first half. And this game, if West Virginia doesn't score here soon, this, get, this could get ugly, folks. This is turning into a blowout. It's turning into a blowout rather quickly here. Seven seconds left in the first quarter. Seven, it's 28 to 3. Kemp looking deep over the left side. That's Harris. Harris inside the 45. Timeout with two seconds to go. Time for one last Hail Mary. Let's go for it. Kemp in the shotgun. Here we go. Hail Mary time in Morgantown. Kemp down the left side. Catch by Porter into the end zone. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. The Hail Mary never works except when it does work. And the Horn Frogs strike with no time left in the first half. It's 34 to 3. And the I'm surprised they have any the West Virginia fans haven't left yet. The Hail Mary Works perfectly as Porter makes the catch. Had two blockers to block the one West Virginia defender over there. Touchdown, Red Horn Frogs. Here into the third quarter, it's 34 to three as they miss the extra point. Kemp looking to throw, throws it over left side. Henderson on the halfback screen. He's got a lot of running room inside the 40 to midfield. He could score inside the 30 to the 20, 15, and tackle just outside the 10. A huge gain by Henderson. On the halfback screen pass. Oh, man. And they need to run this more often because when they run it, it has worked to perfection, especially Kemp to Henderson. They did it once for a touchdown in the first half, and they almost had another one here as he's tackled just outside the 10-yard line. Mark it at about the 11 or the 12. Horn Frogs looking to strike again here in the third quarter. 37-17 now in the fourth quarter. Henderson running right side. He's, he's not hand been tackled. He's running deep. 45-50. Could he score? Henderson down the sideline to about the 27-yard line. They got a field goal on their last drive, you saw. 20-point game with 2.20 to go. Run the clock out, Red Horn Frogs. It's time to take your victory and prove to 8-1. Nice four-yard carry there by Henderson. Keeping the clock moving. Second and six. Hand off Henderson. Up the gut. First down? No, it's just short of the first down marker. It'll be third and inches, and Henderson's slow to get up after that one. Third and inches, Kemp in the shotgun. He's got the third down, or third string running back, Johnson, in there. Finds Malone over the middle of the field. That's a first and goal as they just got the first down through the play action because it did work. And you'll see the replay here. I don't think it's considered running up the score. He was just trying to get the first down. And keep the clock going as he didn't want to settle for a field goal on this drive. And Malone keeps the drive alive. T uh, first down, Horn Frogs. Now third and goal. Under 25 seconds to go here in Morganstown. Just run the clock and be over. Johnson running right side. They call. He's in the end zone. They gave him a touchdown. Oh, man, and as if this wasn't bad enough for the Mountaineers, they do not like this call at all on the field, but the third string running back, Johnson, does get a touchdown, and the Horn Frogs, they just keep pouring it on. Look at this one, right side, and judge for yourself, it did not look like he got in the end zone, but they called it in. Check the Horn Frog replay uh, in slow motion. Johnson 
running. It looks like he's just short, but they give him the goal line and a touchdown as it looked like maybe his knee was down at the one, but he stretched the ball across the goal line. Either way, folks, a Horn Frog victory and an easy one at that. 44-17 to over the West Virginia Mountaineers. Your play of the game, none other than this Hail Mary pass, because why not? The Hail Mary should never work in a college football game, yet it does, and when it does, it's beautiful, as Porter scored and made it a 34-3 to point game at that point as we closed out the first half, and I'm surprised the Mountaineer fans are still here after the first half. Uh, now they are disgusted and angry and leaving now, but... If they had left at halftime, they would have missed West Virginia scoring 14 points in the second half, which is more than they scored in the first half. But, of course, your player of the game is Brian Kemp, and why not? He had a heck of a game. We'll check his stats later on. But thank you for watching Horn Frog Football. I am Herbert Rowe, and uh, I will invite you to join me next week as it's the battle for first place in the Big 12 standings. It will be the Kansas State Wildcats taking on your TC Horn Frogs. The Wildcats are 9 and 0, your Horn Frogs are 8 and 1. Both teams are undefeated atop the K the Big 12 standings and it'll be for first place in the Big 12 and maybe first place will decide who goes to a BCS bowl game as it's looking like both of these teams are going to be eligible for one. The Horn Frogs only with one loss on the season to this point at F and a 6 game winning streak no less. And uh, you, we'll check your uh, highlights of the game right now. But I invite you to join me next week for the Kansas State Wildcats come to town. I hope you will. And I will talk to you guys next week. All right. Thank you, Herbert. I am B Wildcat 2. I hope you enjoyed week 10 of the Horn Frogs coaching carousel with Big Troll, the offensive coordinator. And I would have to say he's doing a hell of a job. Six game winning streak. Check the stats. Uh, as I keep talking after this 44 to 17 victory over the Mountaineers, probably one of the better wins as a team for the Horn Frogs this season. Uh, they got everybody in, even Trey Johnson, the third string running back. He got some carries in for a touchdown. And uh, what do you guys think about the game? I mean, it it's looking good in HD. I'd have to say. And I think I thank Herbert for uh, his great job. Uh, calling the game. I know he's got to be tired. That was, uh, you got to, in, in blowouts like that, you've got to find things to talk about because the game is not, the game is, uh, well, has already been decided. So yeah, this is when we start talking about how uh, I have lost three dogs over the span of five years. Anyway, guys, so thanks for watching week 10. Check out week 11 as the number two Kansas State Wildcats will be coming to town. An offensive line or an outside linebacker commits to the Horn Frogs, and uh, you probably already knew that. But I just wanted to let you guys know. Come back for week 11 next time, guys. See ya.